We are at the NHDOP annual convention here in Pickerton Academy in, in Derry, New Hampshire, and I have run across Michelle Lavelle, a, an avid activist for school choice, and she's also part of the NHGOP State Committee. And that's why you're here, right? That is, that's right. Well, thanks for taking a couple moments with Granite Rock. So what do you, as a Republican, as a member of the State Committee, what are you expecting to see today at the end result? I'm expecting that, well, as we've already heard with the nomination speeches and the committee report, a real call for unity to get behind the core values that will make New Hampshire even stronger and, and build that base, inspire people to go out and work harder, give more of themselves, their time, their treasure, and do more to help New Hampshire be the real place it needs to be, the New Hampshire Advantage, a place to help attract young people, to keep families here, and I think that's the message that people will take back to their work when they leave today. You mentioned core values. I know that the platform enumerates what those are. Is there a problem with executing on those values? I think there has been, and you can see that when you look at the legislature's votes, roll call votes. Unfortunately, we have people that are, and I don't expect people to be lockstep. I value that Republicans in, really embrace that individuality, but I think there are core values that Republicans do hold to, and we lose track of that just in the rush to fill in names on the ballots, and or it becomes just a popularity contest in some communities where those are people running under a party name that they really don't respect or follow, and I think that's even disingenuous to the voters if they are familiar with the candidates individually. Okay. Well, Michelle, thank you for taking just a couple moments with Granite Rock. My pleasure. And as always, thank you for also writing at Granite Rock. My pleasure. Thank you.